Hey guys, Diceboy22 here. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to make any more videos for a while, but I thought I'd do something special for you guys and give you kind of a re-review of my Archangel Gundam if I haven't reviewed it already. Um, well, here I go. As for the custom paint scheme, um, lots of red, um, I changed the wings from white to blue, um, there's a few paint errors, but personally I wouldn't, I w this is my first actual custom paint, so I probably wouldn't change this for the world, unless if I was like offered, I don't know, a tons of cash to like make it better or something. As you see there's a like paint error right there. There's still some white in the wings. A couple things I missed. If I'm feeling up to it one day I'll go back and change. The um the wings from the wing zero still have the same articulation as ever. Um let me see here. I don't know if the camera caught all that. But... Now, as you can tell already, this guy has some pretty awful balancing issues. Um, the um, the biggest flaw of this kit is the legs. Um, the legs, the shins, they're always just flopping out, popping out. Um. Some pieces, they aren't quite that well attached. As you can see, you can still see that, like, kind of peg. So, I'm just questioning if I should do some a lot of gluing on this. Which I think I might have done over here. Um, now to show you what I've done overall. Um... Basically, a lot of glue, a lot of glue on this guy. Um, what I did here is basically I was trying to like make a representation or something of wings. It doesn't look the greatest, doesn't look the best in the world, but what can you do? Um, this is this is basically um, my first overall custom job. Um, crosses on crosses on crosses on the knees or like shins, um, crosses on the feet, um, more feathers on the shoulder. Basically I was trying to make this a representative of a, like a six-winged angel or like multi-winged angel, if you can get my drift. And um, <clears throat> what the difference is between this and the wing zero is um, if you couldn't tell already, this uses um, a lot of strike freedom no grade parts. Um, being my, being primarily the um, the arms, the legs, um, the hands, and the head. So this uses um, probably more percentage of strike parts than um, wing zero parts. The wing zero parts you'll see on this kit are um, the side skirts, the chest, the wings, and I think that's about it. Um, let me see here. It's accessories. Um, I still need to work on and make this a lot better than it could than it can be. I'm thinking of this um, trying to do another one overall with plaw plate, but this golden type buster sword. Um, primarily my second Gundam series was um, was Gundam Seed slash Gundam Seed Destiny. So um, that's kind of where I got that inspiration from. And then um, just one beam saber from the no grade strike. <clears throat> Now, primarily, something I want to do with this too. Oh uh, yeah, the other paint scheme. Um, navy blue for the feet to match the um the chest. Oh yeah, and I replaced the green orb in the chest with a red jewel. 
Um, primarily, you can buy these like from your local hobby store, Hobby Lobby, stuff like that. They're pretty easy to find, and personally for me, they have a great effect. And and yeah, if you're wondering, I did um, paint the inside of that white. Um, and um, you still got those shoulder vul vulcans on on the shoulders. Um, now what I consider here shoulder cannons, shoulder Vulcan, shoulder cannon. Um, and let me see, 